लाइफ ले रहे तभी चे किया रख किया रख किया रख किया रख किया रख अरे दादा यार लाइफ बाबा 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 दादा लाइट दे दो हाँ आगे लगा दी अरे नहीं है तो भी हमको चाहिए
दिया क्या क्या हाईलाइट्स मिली आज आपको उसके बारे में जानना चाहिए Uh, I think the most amazing thing about Amit Agarwal and his, this show today is the fact that he's shown us how to use uh, discarded sarees and discarded industrial material very, very interestingly and beautifully. Okay, this time you are going to walk on the ramp tomorrow. Yes. Uh, I'm looking forward to being uh, the showstopper for uh, uh, Kusum and Karishma, Fa Fabiana. Uh, that's going to be on the 20th, I think. Yeah, on the 20th. It's a it's a really stunning outfit. Uh, true blue Amit Agarwal style. Uh, this is, this garment has a combination of industrial waste, uh, discarded old uh, borders, and pieces of fabric. And I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Could I request media to please squeeze in so we can close the door and begin the interactions? Good evening, everyone. Uh, a fantastic presentation that we just got to witness. Uh, the Monaco Tourism presents Amit Agarwal's show. Um, Amit, a fantastic presentation all in all. Complete, uh, you, it was a beautiful showcase of construction, style, detailing, and embellishments. As always, you, your shows never disappoint. Um, I'd like to take the opportunity because uh, this has been in association with Monaco Tourism. So I'd love to hear from Mr. Rajiv Nangya, India Director, Monaco Government Tourist Bureau, about collaborating with a designer like Amit. What was his vision and why did you decide to take such a brilliant designer um, on when it came to this season of LFW? First of all, I'd like to congratulate him for uh making the show extra, extra, extra grandeur. And uh, also thank you to a uh, lady here who did a brilliant job on the RAM. I mean, it was amazing. I've seen so many shows. I've been coming here for the last three years now. But it was, I think, fabulous. And uh, the reason why we collaborated with uh, uh, Amit was very simple. It was about sustenance. It was about heritage. It was about culture and it was about art. When we talk about luxury, especially in Monaco, we talk about responsibility also alongside, and sustenance is a very big part of it, and that's one of the reasons we found that uh, this, this is the gentleman who is doing justice to luxury, and that's what all collaboration came in together, and his inspiration from the, uh, some of the parts of Monaco were really outstanding and amazing today. Amit, we'd love to hear from you about what it was like creating this amazing, amazing collection. So honestly, for me, um, it was important <coughs> that I transport the audience uh, to uh, a land. It could be uh, a land very close to their heart, which was Banaras, or it could be a land far away, which was Monaco. Um, I started working on the collection with uh, upcycled Banarsi textiles. <laughs> and in between, I got the chance to actually interact with Mr. Rajiv. And he said, why don't you visit Monaco? And uh, why don't you have a? Yes, yeah, sorry. Yes. Yeah. So I had the chance to uh, actually uh, see the architecture of Monaco, understand how beautifully the buildings are 
casted made, the, the palace there is gilded with gold, the tapestry, or even uh, the upholstery and the window panels. All of that actually just added to the details of the Banarsi because there is a very strong uh, synonymous, I would say, aesthetic that goes between the, the textiles of Banaras, the opulence, uh, and the motifs uh, alongside uh, the motifs at uh, Monaco. And I thought it was a great uh, opportunity to bring both of them together and create a completely new language. Here, I also thought it was important that we talk about uh, sustainability or conscious uh, fashion because, yes, I do understand that, uh, you know, a marriage or uh, a, a bride-to-be sometimes uh, you know, can get a little crazy with what she wants to have. But I think it's important to make a conscious decision. Right, right now, what this, this vision of mine is, <laughs> is wearing is a beautifully molded corset, which is completely made from recycled plastic strips. And the bottom of it, which has taken around 600 hours of hand labor, is carefully detailed, if you see, with upcycled uh, details from Banarsi borders or even little details of the plastic strips. So. Yeah, opulent and yet conscious, yes. It's perfect for the festive season, yes. I mean, right in time. Uh, Isha, I just want to hear your thoughts about um, working with uh, Amit when it came to you know being uh, taking on the showstopper look. Uh, how was it like, and when he told you this is what you'd be wearing, what was your initial reaction? I think firstly, it was high time that I had to work for Amit. <laughs> the amount of outfits of Amit I've worn, like the ties my stylist, come my best friend, like we, actually fight, we are like, no, no, let's just wear Amit. And there've been times where I've just worn an Amit Agarwal and then there's another piece that'll come and then we were like, should we wear it? We just wore it last week and we actually end up wearing it. So I was like, I think, I think, thank you Amit, firstly. Like it was high time. Um, but coming to this outfit, it's beautiful. It's easy to walk in. And like Amit said, it's for the new age bride. And if you see now, brides are actually, going, you know, um, a little different route, especially the destination weddings and since, Banaras is as India as it can get, and Morocco, I, and Morocco, I think, is a beautiful uh, destination. I think something like this is perfect for a destination wedding. The music also during the show, Amit, was just beautiful. I mean, it actually transported <coughs> you to, uh, you know, Banaras yes. with the yeah, with the temple bells. What was the thought when you were conceptualizing, you know, the hair and makeup and the music for the show? Um, well, I I actually had the vision of, um, you know, the woman coming out of the Ganges. So how the hair was, or the filtering sun ray light, so all the strings that you saw. And uh, it had to be the morning music. So the first temple, uh, Aarti, was the inspiration. But of course, if somebody actually carefully dissects the music, there was a lot of undertone of uh, the church bells from, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from uh, the Western influences, where you know there is a marriage of both. The bell rings in both the places, and it creates the same kind of feeling. Beautiful, really beautiful. Um, so I'd love to hear from you, Mr. Rajiv, uh, any last thoughts about the association or? No, we'd like to thank Amit and Isha again. And of course, uh, we have been lucky with the uh, Indian clients uh, actually taking uh, Monaco as their destination wedding. In fact, we had a very big wedding last November from India with almost 800 people going to Monaco. And we hope after getting inspired by the collection of Amit, we'll see more such weddings and celebrations coming to Monaco. Thank, thank you, you so very much once again. Um, I'd like to open the floor to media if you have any questions. So uh, the first, pr the process of the outfit actually start. I mean, if you see visually, it is a traditional lehenga, but uh, how it has been deconstructed is important. The blouse has actually become like a molded corset now. And uh, the bottom, the entire uh, pattern of it is actually the morning sunrise in Banaras versus the glass, uh, the stained glass panels of uh, Monaco's uh, beautiful palace there. So I think that was the marriage that I thought the last outfit should have. Yeah. So it took around 10 karigars for that many days to finish it. Thank you. Um, Mr. Raji, we wanted to present something to our designers. Uh, Michelle? Thank you. This is from an exclusive collection. 
question from Monte Carlo Monaco you. for your, you know, wherever you'd like to put them. Oh, so sweet. Thank you. We have just one more question from a media, Sumit. Yeah. Mr. Rajiv, uh, um, can you elaborate on what you have presented to her? Okay, I th probably thought uh, you have presented a honeymoon pass for her, like after. Sorry? No. Uh, but it can be presented well before. Uh, any? Uh, you have Yeah, yeah to sure. both of you. Uh, Amit, your designs are futuristic also. Uh, s some of the people say ki, like your designs are futuristic also. I actually completely shy away from that term because I think that when a lot of people don't understand what it looks like, they just term it futuristic. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, and I'm. Uh, it's taken me eight years and enough guts to tell people that it's not futuristic because if you're seeing it right now, it's not the future. <laughs> it's just modern. Yeah, it's more modern. It's something that uh, blends culture and I think a modern approach. Yeah. That's about it. And I, it's not futuristic at all. It's not that uh, a robot is going to be wearing my outfits. <laughs> Isha, we couldn't stop. Uh, we have to ask you. Um, are you uh, uh, like uh, open to experimenting, taking, uh, breaking the bra barriers uh, as far as your what you wear is concerned? I think I've already done that. What I've not worn, I've already broken the barriers. Can you, we are all here for this. Uh, uh, what inspired you for uh, uh, for the what you mentioned, like the photo shoot? The same. The, I I don't understand why people ask what inspired me because uh, uh, I mean I'm halfway through, so it's it's. I mean there's there's nothing. I mean there's whatever inspires you to look pretty and take a selfie. Same way I did the photo shoot. I was looking beautiful, and I was just like, let's just get a tea together and we shot it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Thank media. You. Just a request to our Mr. Raji. We have two very special guests from Monaco with us. We have Charlotte and we have Isabel. I'll just request them to come here and say a thank you to our audience for giving us such a wonderful time today. Hello, thank you very much uh, for this show. It was stunning and all the dresses were Amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you.